Hey, what is this? Could you find out what this is about? Yes. Ask others too. The context of this prototype was Ellie Chan was leaving NIS in December. Ellie's story is often told to explain how NIS came to be an inclusive learning community. We went through a series of questions. There were more prompts when we were looking at the product to give some feedback. And some of the questions were, uh, does the story make sense? Is there anything we've missed? Uh, have we told a story? Is it timeless? Is it sensitive? Is it truthful? Does it reflect our mission? Uh, and then there are uh, three questions about scalability. So this is only one. We're telling the story of Ellie. What other stories do we have within our school to be able to tell as well? One of the things that is probably the overriding feature of being a part of this group was that we were given the opportunity to catch and safeguard a moment of history in our school. Okay, so the, the prototype looked at uh, student data and admissions data and how teachers had access to different uh, bits of information about students that were new to NIS. Uh, one of the challenges, I think, is that teachers are by nature ambitious, but the, the nature of, of design thinking, particularly wicked design problems, is to look at small challenges that can be solved in a short amount of time, that can be prototyped in a short amount of time, and that a multitude of these small challenges being solved would then address these large problems. We've continued the prototype just because it really helped us um, see more behaviors. I think that this truly helps keep the class in alignment and really helps create a sense of social responsibility. It fosters a sense of social responsibility and it really um, taught the kids to help each other make good choices. So I wanted to work on that to improve the range of vegetables and food as well as teaching them how to eat healthy. And so there was very many points to work on. We only choose some. I think what they should look at for the new prototype is looking at withdrawing highly, tier four highly abled students at middle school and DP and providing them with strategies so they're part of the learning support group. Withdraw these kids, give them the mentor, let them fly. We got to a point where we were able to articulate um, two or three very specific recommendations and because I'm the person that can drive some of those, I sort of became a champion of those recommendations. Um, but those recommendations aren't really scaling of a prototype or further prototypes. They're more um, direct changes in job description and program expectations for teachers. We're mixing up the students together. Uh, it's not always Miss Ham focusing with this class, Miss Cream with another, but the movement between the classes is quite fluid, um, depending on what skill that we're focused on. We're looking at the benchmark 
Uh, and so we had their grades for analysis and then we wanted to see improvement within the band of analysis. Uh, the final outcome was a website which you can click on different um, tabs and you have different categories uh, where you can improve sustainably. I think from prototypes and that would change would be the way we used it after we had created a prototype itself, so putting it forth to a greater part of the community or having a strategic plan of what to do after the prototype itself was released. We had a, our first prototype, kind of like a Proto prototype, <laughs> yeah, prototype. That's the one. <laughs> and um, we took that to um, Miss Kylie Pretty, and she looked over it. And so she suggested we make a forum on the website. We make an email address that people can contact us. And um, it really became a lot more user friendly because we got a ton of feedback on new prototypes that we can go with, or um, how we can improve this one even further. I go very often to the market to buy fresh vegetables and I notice that uh, sellers pack every single kind of veggies in a different bag. So if you go there without the bags and you come back with them hanging from your hands. And um, I thought maybe it's a good idea to try to change this. Mostly whom we reached is our local community, foreign community, so people are more aware and they thought they will be using their own bags when they go to the market. My hope was that we will involve some students. It came out that market already working on this as well, so they are aware of the problem. They count how many bags they use. They tell it's around 4,000 bags every day. That's a lot. Uh, and they gave us a permission to screen the video. Okay, so I had um, an idea, a change that I wanted to make in my department and uh, somebody suggested that I do it as a prototype and I was like, well, why would I want to do it as a prototype? I just want to do it. And initially I thought, oh, this is just going to be some hoop jumping so that I can get it done. So I started the process and I was a little bit sceptical, but actually what I discovered is that along the way, the process really, really helped me to make the changes that I wanted to. And the greatest thing about it was that I had to uh, have a team of people to um, work with, and they had ideas and suggestions and feedback that I just would never have thought about on my own. We don't want to stop the language, it's going to stop them from learning. Like, 
deeper learning. So we are thinking maybe、um, we、we'll、just adapt some Mandarin speaking in the class, and also for the other foreign kids. And、uh, we want to just create this Mandarin environment at the same time. So for them, and for the other Chinese kids, when we're talking about some UI subjects. Which are hard for them to understand. I just give them some Mandarin words for them to understand very well, and、uh, they can just、uh, give me feedbacks or they can just let me know their thoughts in Mandarin. Is all about integrating the performing arts into the classroom, into the homeroom, and making it so that it's not a standalone subject. If I integrate into the homeroom, that when I'm not there, they can continue to work with the materials and work with the ideas I've provided them, and it makes it far more holistic, so they can integrate it into what they're already doing in the homeroom. Because、so、I wanted it to be far more authentic. So my reason for starting the prototype was so that people could see how it could link in with. Um, what they're doing in language work, what they're doing with math, what they're doing in their UOI, and how、um, how it could be used in the homeroom and the specialist teachers in there. This change in pedagogy will give the students the opportunity to、uh, to aim for a personal excellence. So whether it's one particular sport, it could be an area of fitness,、um, and they use people from、uh, teachers with a particular ex expertise, or they use people from outside of the environment. So it could be parents or somebody like myself to come in and actually help them with that specific sport or that area of、uh, of fitness.